Hey guys, welcome back to my PCOS VSG journey. So this is week 15 post-op VSG hiatal hernia repair. Um, I wish I had some weight loss to report, but I don't. This week, I am still sitting at 216 pounds even, and I don't know what's going on with my body, but I'm sure there's going to be like quite a few pounds lost in the next coming week or weeks. Um, so I'm not trying to stress too much about it, honestly. Um, this week, I really don't have much else to report other than the fact that, you know, I gotta calm down with the crackers because the crackers came back, y'all. The crackers came back and I wish they didn't. Um, so I have to chill out with that. I'm not buying anymore. Like, I was like, whatever I finish right now, um, I'm not buying anymore. I have to calm down and refocus there with the snacking. Because uh, sometimes I feel like I just get so hungry um, that I just eat something crazy. So one thing that's helped me this week is having a rotisserie chicken. Um, it's like rosemary and garlic rotisserie chicken. It's so good. But just having something like that ready so I can cut it up and I have that with sliced, um, sliced cucumbers is like one of my favorite meals and put on like Italian dressing over that or whatever. Um, sugar-free barbecue sauce sometimes I'll have that uh, so I find that I have to be one of those people that just has something on hand so otherwise I just go and eat the closest like thing the quickest thing which would be the crackers and I've had crackers and hummus and that kind of thing and I really have to get out of the habit of that and and really just be prepared so I went and bought this um, pan seared uh, salmon from target it's like teriyaki flavor and it is amazing like i don't it is so good so i got a bunch of packs of those because i'm lazy and i don't want to cook cook so um i have that on deck and then the cucumbers that's just my easy thing to just slice some cucumbers and um, i'm happy with that so um another thing i've noticed is i need to take more time with my chewing I just chew so fast I'm so hungry and I feel like I've just been eating like in like seven minutes my food will be gone and I really should be like trying to take 30 minutes to eat so they say and um, yeah so I, I definitely need to be more mindful of that um, I feel like I'm just getting a little lax on some things and uh, it's time to uh, put those back into practice I'm still not tracking anything. I get a lot of questions about, you know, how many calories do I intake, how many carbs, um, those kind of specific questions I can't answer because I don't track. I hate tracking. It's just not for me. I felt like it stressed me out so much um, and I wasn't meeting my goals anyways while I was tracking. So um, sometimes, but not consistently. So. Tracking's not my thing, but it is for many in the VSG community and it it should be a very helpful thing, but for me personally, I don't like it, so I don't track. My water intake has been really good. Um, I've been working on that this week, so that is a, um, a goal that I met all throughout the week, um, having enough liquids. And then I just overall feel like I'm losing inches. So the scale's not moving, but I definitely feel like I'm losing inches. My jeans, uh, they were super, they were pretty tight when I first got them, but they're feeling like super comfortable now. So I just feel like inches are, are being lost, but the scale's just not moving. Um, and who knows, maybe, I, maybe I've gained some muscle. I don't know, because I've had some... You know, I bumped up the mileage on my walks recently, so I'm hoping that uh, maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how things go. But that's overall my report for the week. Really short, really sweet, because I just have not much going on, like not much change. Um, but I do need to do my measurements. I keep saying I'm going to do it, but it's part of the tracking thing. I just... I'm horrible with the tracking of, of my own stats because I just feel like I obsess over it too much and I don't want to be super obsessive. Um, so it just helps me to just take a step back and, and do what I need to do. 
Um, I'm still on top of all my vitamins and everything, although I bought some Flintstone vitamins um, because the Bariatric Advantage, I'm already sick of like ordering those. Like two bags, which should last me like two months, is like 50, close to 60 bucks. And I was just like, wow, this is crazy. Um, although that has the nutrients I need. So I might just, I don't know. I had the Flintstones for now to get me through till I, you know, get to the point where I order more um, vitamins um, from Bariatric Advantage. Um, if you have any other vitamins that if you're watching this in your post-op VSG, what vitamins do you take? Please comment below. I'd like to go through them. Does anybody take Flintstones? I'd like to know because I've heard a couple people take them. And how many are you taking? I want to know. I'm curious. Um, because I looked at the stats on the back of that Flintstone vitamins and uh, nowhere close to what is in the Bariatric Advantage. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably going to end up getting Bariatric Advantage. Uh, but yeah, that's what's going on this week. Um, thank you to everyone who is following me on Instagram. Shout out to all my IG followers. And thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. You are appreciated and thank you so much. This channel is growing. This family, this PCOS VSG family is growing and it's awesome. And once we reach a thousand subscribers here on YouTube, I am doing a giveaway. And trust me, you'll want to be around for that giveaway. Um, I'm not going to hold back. I'm going to give away something awesome. And a little hint, something that is... An electronic so yeah just stick around for that but thank you for all your support if you're throwing up thumbs up on my videos thank you so very much and um, hopefully you all have a great week this week if you're watching this during your work week have a great work week great week if you're on vacation have a great week if you're here watching this on the weekend have a great weekend and I will see you all on the next update and this time, let's speak it. This time, I'm going to report weight loss to you next week. My scale is going to move. I'm going to break this stall. I'll figure it out, and I'm going to break the stall. You know what? I already broke the stall. The stall is broken. We're going to see two pounds next week. So thank you all for tuning in and watching each week and your comments. I'm behind on the comments, and I'll catch up on them. I appreciate all your support, and I'll see you next week. Bye.